So I'm Jason Brown, the founder of The Brown Report and Power Trades University. So we're a stock market education company. We teach people how to trade in the stock market. I was like, well, how can they get this information if I set, like, if I was doing live webinars, it's like, well, what happens if I do them on Sundays? What happens if I do them when people are on West Coast time? What happens if I do them in, well, I should say I don't do them when people are asleep. What about the nurses, the doctors, and people who work through the night? And so I was looking for a software that could give them the same opportunity to learn about the information, but without it really running me to the ground and trying to stay up all night to reach all the different people. So I'm like, how can I automate the webinar, but do it in a way that feels genuine and unique to wherever they live and whatever their life experience is. So that's what I was looking for in the software. Before coming to Easy Webinar, I think the first problem I had was I was like, I just won't capture those people. I was like, the people who work at midnight will never see my webinar or the people who want one on Sunday will never see my webinar. If I'm like, I'm not gonna work on Sundays, I'm gonna go to church, whatever the case may be. So first I was just like, wow, that's a boatload of people I'm gonna miss out on. Second thought I had was, I'm just gonna upload it to YouTube and run it on YouTube. Problem with that is I get no data, no analytics, no email capture, no way to follow up. So I did actually put it on YouTube, but again, I had no data, no analytics, no follow up. And so, then when I tried a different solution, it was working for a while, but for whatever reason, uh, the software became unreliable. And when you're spending money on ads or even if it's organic traffic, if they click to register for something and then they go there and the video doesn't play or the audio is crackly for some reason, you're like, I recorded the video and the audio was fine. Why is it crackly? A peer of mine and a mastermind was using Easy Webinar, and it was an easy decision. I'm like, I gotta pivot, I gotta switch and try something new. When I looked at how long I've been with the company, it's been over five years, and I mean, that speaks for itself, meaning I haven't had to go look for another competitor. I haven't had to go um, see what else is better out there. It's been working for me. I've been able to customize the times, the dates, the time frames. Uh, I've been able to do just in time, because then I'm like, well, how do I capture people who don't have time for any of the preset times that I make. And so the just-in-time has been working for me. Um, the really important integration with our CRM has been working for us so that we also have the data in-house so we can see how to follow up with them. So it's just been, it's just been smooth. <laughs> That's how it's been, it's been smooth. So one interesting result that I can say came from the tool is we track how many people attend live and then how many people watch the replay. And we kind of tweaked like who we send the replay to. Um, we've also noticed that like sometimes people will watch a presentation and they, they're like, I want to see that again to make sure I understood it or did I hear it the right way. And so we've been able to also allow people to watch it twice, but also put a time frame be be behind how long they can watch it. We've also been able to see that, hey, we, we actually created a sequence that said, hey, we saw you watched it twice and still didn't buy. Did you have any questions? And so just having that type of data, that insight, that information has just been helping us increase sales, but more importantly, increase knowing how people are interacting with our content. And whether we make a sale or not, just having that data, having that information, just allows us to, when we follow up with them, for them to feel like, wow, this guy is really watching me. Like, not watching me in a bad way, but they feel like we were really there when we really weren't. So we were able to give them a simulated experience that's so close to live that they really felt like we were there. Even when they typed their questions in the box, we haven't come to our phone as an email. So to be able to reply back to them and say, hey, I saw your question. I mean, they really feel like they've gotten everything they could have gotten as if it was a live experience. And so, you know, that result alone, how can it not increase sales or increase the, I think trust and retention that you're building with your customer when you got that much data and you're creating that good of an experience. And I think we as business owners owe it to create a great experience for people online because people are skeptical still. Even though online is, you know, booming, we just came through a pandemic, people are still skeptical. Did I just get scammed? Was this real? Did they just hack and get my information? So the more I can show them I was there with you, I did see your question. We responded in 24 hours. In fact, we responded an hour after the webinar was over.
My final thoughts would be, sometimes people think, oh, that makes sense for you because you're an online company or you know, you sell courses or digital products or coaching online, but I believe everybody should have a digital sales rep. Whether you have a brick and mortar business or an online business, you're saying something to people all the time. And so what if before people came into your doctor's office, your dentist's office, you already explained the process. If you do surgery, lip injections, breast augmentation, what if you could explain before they came there, around the clock, in their time zone, what the experience would be like before they stepped into their office. How could that save your people behind the counter time? How could that drop the time of consultation so that they only come in with the serious questions? And so I would just encourage people to think, no matter what business in, they need a digital sales rep. And I think Easy Webinar is the best way to build your digital sales rep. I have recommended it to friends and family and business colleagues. That's great. Not only do I recommend it, they ask me, what are you using? And obviously, to recommend something is one thing, but to be using it speaks even more volumes. And so really people are like, what are you using? And I'm like, hands down, easy webinar.